Hello antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have another new arrivals video to share with you with the pieces that I have pulled out here ready to show you that I do have scheduled for delivery to my Vintage Touch Antique booth on April the 6th, 2016. So, without any further ado, let's just get right in and let me show you what I'm taking up this week. Start in the back here. Here's a nice color box, is what they call these. This one has a leatherette look, and it comes with the collar and one collar button. It also has, in the uh, little holder here in the back, four additional collar buttons that just slide down in there and I just dropped that one but it does slide right down in there like that nice little black leather case with the snap there on the front and that piece is going in to my booth for $18 has the nice little set purple satin lining the next piece is a small little kind of wrist um, purse, small handles here. It's a um, tooled leather. It does have a little pull-out change purse in the inside. It has a monogram on there of MSNR or MSR, and the um, price on that piece is ten dollars. I have a rhinestone bracelet that's going in. This is a pretty little vintage bracelet with faceted stones and prong set stones. And this piece is going in for only $6. I sell a lot of little soap dishes. Here's one with an early mark that says Miller and Company. This, this little soap dish has some little glaze pops there um, going in for $4. I have a garden and outdoor display set up right now, so I've been adding to that because I've been selling a lot of stuff. This is a hose nozzle, brass early hose nozzle. Uh, has a brand name on it of Dixie, and that one will be going in for $6, and it does work. Here's a little uh, alarm clock. It's a Timex, vintage Timex, and it does need work going in for $5. This here, uh, this is a bottle here that's, um, the name of it is Whitmore's, and it's Clean All, and it was, it once held the cleaning solution for cleaning velvet, silk, and satin shoes and slippers. You can see by the early label that it is a very nice bottle with a cork receiving top, and that's $9. This is a nice cream pitcher or syrup dispenser has the probably maybe nickel plated lift top or zinc I'm not sure which this piece is an early 1900s Royal Rochester from Felter China from Zanesville Ohio going in for $25 now this piece would just be beautiful with other primitive pieces I could see it with treen or tollware sitting great addition to that Standing up in the back here, I'm not going to try to pull it out because I don't want to drop something with this camera. Is a nice brown transfer wear platter. You can see the beautiful embossing, I hope, and scalloped edging there. It is a tunstall, I believe is the name, how you pronounce that, England. And it's a 9.5 by 14 platter going in for $15. In the front here, I have a nice tin chick feeder. This has the the uh, the top on it there, the 16 hole, 16 inch length feeder for chicks. A great piece could be used as a display piece to set things in, or whatever. Um, it's usable as it is, obviously. But a lot of these pieces are put into use in other ways. This one's going in for $15. Let's 
set that out of the way there for just a minute. And here's a nice old, well-worn, great primitive look. It's a skinning board. It's 26 and a half inches long. Has an early repair here on the bottom. That one is going in for $10 setting here. I hope you can see that it's not too much a glare. Is a an early framed red work embroidery piece. It says it's in German there and that I believe uh, means like have a good meal or enjoy your meal or something of that nature. The frame is an early frame with the leaf designs there is one little bit of damage on that one right there as you can see that's broke off right there it has a wood back just a great old piece try to pull out here so you can see it a little better I have it in that box because I'm afraid it would fall over and break and then an old box this one has the metal strapping around the ends uh, to reinforce it on both ends. This is having a problem focusing for some reason. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. And this, I sell a lot of boxes so I can hardly keep enough in my shop. And this one is going in for $13. So those are the pieces that will be delivered again April 6, 2016. I hope you will stop by and see my booth if you're ever in this area. Hagerstown, Maryland, Antique Crossroads. You'll find my booth third row on the left. Look for the large sign that hangs over my double space booth. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would just really love to have you subscribe. And please, if you like, enjoy my videos, please share. I would like to get my subscription count up and have more subscribers. So appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your antiques. And remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. Bye-bye.